Taiwan's defense minister who seems to acknowledge that there is U.S. troop activity there in the territory. How significant is this? When you're using Western and U.S. military power, there needs to be a clear objective, a purpose, and a benefit to the United States. None of those things are evident here because, look, this violates directly the agreement that we had to way back in the 70s when we normalized relations with China that we wouldn't post American military unit personnel on Taiwan or certainly in the islands. Now that we're doing it on both, we have it not just on Kinmen there, but also on the mainland. And it's clear that it's permanent. It's not just a temporary thing. And the question has to be, towards what end? What do you think, from the Washington's perspective, this is supposed to accomplish? Is it going to deter China somehow? What What is the message? And, and I'll tell you, I don't know what their intent is, but all it does, it's just like a red cape in front of a bull. It doesn't deter China. If anything, this makes conflict more likely. Oh, and that's, listen, that's how I interpret it as well. I, I also know that Taiwan's defense minister is saying it is for mutual observation and to identify problems based on what you just said, based on everything we know. Is this preparation for war? Not saying war will happen, but is yeah. this preparation for it? And, and look, I mean, even what the defense minister said there doesn't pass the smell, smell, sniff test because they've been on Kinmen since 1949. So they've been there all the time. Why would they suddenly need American special forces to teach them how to do something they know like the back of their hand? So I think that this is from Taiwan's perspective. I get it. They would like to have American troops there because if there's any action, if there's any attack, then Americans are going to be the first ones to be killed. And of course, you know, then there'll be a lot of pressure on Washington to join in. So we should not be in that tripwire uh, position to get us drawn into a war that in no way, shape, or form would help America. It will be an egregious fail failure and a loss. There is no upside, but there's a lot of downside. No upside for the U.S. Let's, I want to look at it from the other perspective. For Taiwan, how important is U.S. support? Well, they would love nothing better than to have the United States for the be first their time. Force. They want us there, just like the Syrian Democratic Forces want the U.S. to stay in Syria forever. As long as we're there with all of our air power and all the other things, then their security is much more secured. So it makes sense for them. I get that. But that's not our job is to provide security and potentially get our nation drawn into a war that could go nuclear for the benefit of another country. That doesn't help that country out, and it doesn't help us. Because in my view, that makes war against Taiwan more likely, not less likely. And my last question for you, does America have the resources if, you know, if we take now this situation in Taiwan into account and, of course, all the other global situations America is involved in or at least has some sort of influence? No, zero. Not a chance. We, we absolutely don't. There is a, a, a report out on the CSIS right now where they're looking at how long it will take us just to recover all of the things with artillery shells, stinger missiles, other kinds of missiles we sent to Ukraine. It'll take us between five and 18 years to replace all the things we've already lost there. We do not have the capacity to sustain a, a major war against a, something near a peer competitor uh, and be able to, to make it. We just don't have the capacity to do it. We better not try.